2017 Board of Selectmen meeting. We are here at the town hall. Late cam is recording. Is anybody else recording? No one else is recording. Our first order of business is to meet with town council to discuss the 40-hour application to the DHCD. So we have the information. Uh, we have several pieces of information, actually, uh, relative to two projects, or is this, this is both it's of them, right? It's all one project. It's, it's all one project, project, but there's two separate applications. applicants. Um, so we wanted to have a meeting to try to finalize the application to the state because it's our understanding that there's a timeline on this and we want to try to get this done tonight so we can get it to them uh, for consideration and we wanted to just get everybody on the same page relative to the development itself and what we wanted to do as a town in terms of the density and, and whatnot for that so uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad everybody's here uh, does everybody know each other yes okay so everybody knows everybody um, do you maybe you just want to explain what what you guys are up to and then we'll ask a few questions if we have any and then we'll just try to finalize the strategy for this and right, well what we did is as you all know we already admitted uh submitted for the 40 bs uh, we had to get that clock going um we also knowing time was running out before the end of the year the law might change in january i had mike and jamie go ahead and do the whole application for the 40 hour for you guys and i think they sent it over maybe it was yesterday but we got it done knowing that there's only a week between two holidays you know how much was going to get done so um you know hopefully mike and jamie can explain it to you you can review it if you like it if you want a couple of changes we can get it, you can put a cover letter on it and send it in and beat the clock, was my thinking. That's what I tried to do. Okay, great. Get grandfathered before the, if they do pass that law in January, we'll be grandfathered if we get it in before that. Which law? They said something the, about a law coming that the, if you already have a 40B, the 40R won't count. The regulations are potentially changing. That's what John was changing. telling me. Oh, well the regulations were supposed to change in, in July. Oh, okay. So, they have not well, I made this guy. These guys killed themselves the last few no, days. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. Does it make sense to see an overview of the project so mm -hmm. you guys can see what we're absolutely? Yeah. Yeah. Right. This, yeah. this is a public better. meeting, yeah. actually. Yeah. Being yeah. Taped, so uh, yeah. It great. Playing, I love to do your song and dance and song and dance. Mind if I borrow a clip or two? Oh, it's regulations. regulations. Oh, okay. <laughs> these two. Just, can I use that for law? No, I'm going to need that. I was nervous. Also. That'll work. The regulations yeah. are different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One John had told me that you talked to them and they said. Yes, that they're coming. January, they didn't think they were going to count. If you already had one, you to go get the rest of the I was expecting to just be submitted. Oh, there's nothing like that. We have a deadline to get stuff done. All right. All right. I applied for the 40 B. The 40 R stuff is all done. We have it tonight. It's not in that. This one right here. Not yet. All these bees are over here. But we have it all ready to go. In case they do change. Which one did he send? Did he send to you? Well, that's on the 40 B. The 40 R we put everything on. On the 40 R application. Yeah. So, and I forwarded that to you. I need the bigger one. I'm sorry. This, this one will work. It's not going to work. I think one will do it. Maybe. So, so I think it makes sense, Jamie, to explain um, what we've done so far is we, we've filed for two site approval applications with Mass Housing under 40B. And those two projects are a little different than what you see here. Um, the this portion of the site is similar to what we did on the 40B. In, on I'm um, sorry, and on this site here, if we were to do a 40R, we would look at doing an apartment complex of over 55. But on the 40B component, there's 26, 24 townhouses and three duplex units. There's 30 units. 30 units on that lot. So, 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 so the big difference is going. Is replacing that portion of land with an apartment building that would yeah. replace the townhouses. Yeah, those, those 30 units would change to 64, 55, and overs. 
and they would be uh, rental under this concept. And they'd be rental. Under the R. Under the, the R. Concept. Under the R. So okay. right now it's been applied for under the B as it stands right there. And no, not with this plan. No, no that's this R. R. This is okay. currently the R. So it's just, so. The B has the, more townhouses. The B has there. condos. Yeah, that the B is the, right. is the no, plan sorry. that we that's received the previously. Okay. This is B. Yeah, we have a copy of that. Okay, yeah. great, with all the. So this is B. So, yes. so, so, but right now you've then applied and you have in there just all the townhouses. Yeah, what's on there is just townhouses okay. and a few yeah. so, okay. so, so the 40 B concept is all for sale. Mm -hmm. Where if, if we go, if, if the 40 R goes forward, um, there'd be two components, the rental component as well as the for sale component, with the apartment building being the only significant change. And the only rental portion would be the apartment building? That's yeah. right. Okay, mm -hmm. yep. So I don't, I don't know if you have any more to I, add. Yeah, <laughs> that's, I, I, that's, it's pretty straightforward. Took my spiel. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I think the other thing we were looking for no, no, is. No, I've got them oriented. It's really just the 26 units that become the apartment house. I call it the apartment right, house. Right. It's 27 units, isn't it? I no, think 26 in the middle. There's 30 well, in the middle. Well, yeah, I see what you're saying. You're uh, counting the three buildings in the back as single buildings, but they're duplex. Those are duplex. So 26. No, I'm just reading. Seven. Them. Right. Oh, all right. Affordable, okay. It says, uh, it says the project will consist of 26 for sale, three bedroom houses. So, so that's, that's, so we've submitted that's this as two a, projects right. to, so that's referring to this component here. Yeah. To White's property. Yeah. Right. Those are White's properties. Yeah. And that's the piece John's doing? Yeah, that's the separate piece right. that John's going to do. Okay. Yeah, since I originally talked to you guys, White wanted to sell his two, so... That's why I brought John and it was getting too big for me. So he's gonna take those two, they're gonna be all look the same, they're gonna, they just, you know, he's gonna build those and I'm gonna do the rest of them. So the other component of the apartment building, um, conceptual component, is maybe some office space in the lower level, like for, for doctor's offices. Um, you know, I think Bob wanted to have an office there, something along those lines. I just um, thought, because it's allowed, I just thought to have that flexibility not to start renting it out to regular businesses, but businesses that might fit with those kind of people. Mm -hmm. Maybe have a, sure. like my yeah, chiropractor yeah. goes to different locations a few hours a week. So if he had a room or different, you know, stuff like that that would fit with the building, like needs of the people there. Because it is allowed under us to have a mixed use. Similar. But yeah, not to have like retail stores in there or anything like that. Okay. But like if an accountant wanted an office and they were going to come in and do taxes for the people in the area or something like that or, you know, whatever, a tax time, you know, to have a chiropractor come once or twice a month if people, enough people wanted it. Things that fit the, mm -hmm. yeah, no one's going to drive area. down there looking for a chiropractor, just, but to have that ability because 40 hour lives out. Okay. So then the question is, in terms of, so we had questions relative to the density and all that, but... I guess the big question, and I know I've talked with Bob about this, are we okay, well, I guess I should just jump ahead to what you've done in terms of the application, because maybe we want to review that, and if we're comfortable with what they've put together, you know, we can t have a conversation about that and whether it suits the needs of what we're expecting relative to the town. Pretty, that, the o the only real change to <clears throat> what's the existing overlay district that's there and extending it is, as that one was wrote, written for the apartments, it says um, at least 20 units an acre. And we don't want to build that dense. We, so we, we, that one part is changed to up to 25 an acre. So like I said, I've already submitted the 40B. I am mm -hmm. I don't want to go in there and build a ton of 300, 400. At his density, I'd have almost 400 apartments. I don't want that. Right. I just, But I want to be able to build and adding that on allows me to do the building in the middle with the amount of land, upland I have. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and how many units again is the over 55? 64. Okay. 64 would be on top of the 110 proposal. So no, right. no, 34. So it, it would 34. go from okay. 100. One, 110 plus. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, to 144. So, so okay. you'd lose 30 townhouses and you'd gain 64. So you'd, it, it'd be 34 additional units. So, so overall, there's 144 units. 64, which are all in the apartments, would be one or two bedroom units. The 80 that are remaining would be a mix of the three bedroom units that would be the townhouses and the duplexes. 
So it's 64 and 80 is probably the easiest way to. So we'd end up with 84 uh, affordable units and counted on our subsidized inventory. 64 in the apartment complex. I, along I with don't the know. 20. I don't know exactly how the apartments work. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. with the rental. Yeah. So we get all of it. So it's all 64. Yeah, so when I found out, when I found out, I couldn't do sale. what they let them do at uh, LeBaron because of, I guess I don't have enough toll. So when I found out I couldn't do that with the state and build all of them, I kind of got away from that because under a 40B, and you know better than I do, you ought to know, I have to, like, in, in something like that, what you would do is you would not allocate a lot of land cost to those, and then the rentals work better. But under this, under a 40B, you got to equally allocate all the land. Well, the rentals don't work under a 40B. But under a 40R, nobody really cares, so you can, you can make it work. So that's that's the whole reason why if it goes 40 hour I can do it but if it's 40 B the numbers just don't work so I guess the question then is would you be going would this be like bifurcated with if the R gets put on this area then you're using the R only for the apartments and you're doing the B for the rest if, well, if I don't know if I could be able to <laughs> go ahead and have it. Go ahead and do things. Big Sorry. truck, smartest person in Lakeville, you know. <laughs> no. uh, Bob, you know. So that, that's up to you two, guys, two, really. Two, you know, two phases. Oh. Bifurcate is. Yeah. Well, no, because you get credit for, if you do an I, you'll get credit for all of those, too. So you don't want right. to not get your density bonus for those. Well, you want to get credit get for all of them. density on those? Would if we get a density bonus? within the R. So, yeah. okay, so it would be. Because the real 40-hour language says up to so many units. Yeah. But when you guys, well, not you guys, but when the apartments were written, or at least they put right. at least 20. Right. But at real 40-hour okay. language says you have to allow up to. Okay. So you would count all 100 and something of them or 130 something of them, however the numbers came out. So you get that, how much of a bonus that is at the beginning and then yearly on right. all of them. Right, and you get the, the density bonus based upon the fact that it qualifies in the 40-yard district and it's more dense than yeah. what our than existing one on zone every acre and three quarters. happens to be. Yeah. But, what's the, so, but it's only the increase over... Correct, and the, the increase is over zero because so, there's, no, it's, there's no residential zoning. Already, okay, gotcha. Because yeah. it's the existing zoning, the increase over the existing. Yeah, okay. so, so either 110 or 134, you should get credit for all of them. And get the payment, Yeah. in theory. If it's Provided appropriate, the state has it. yeah. Right. I, I don't know how that. <laughs> no, is. but I mean, but good for us. I mean, that's why not? just it just increases the likelihood money. of getting more money. Right. Yeah. I mean, I I think honestly, it's much easier to sell that type of plan, anyways, to town meeting, based upon the fact that over fifty five housing is needed yeah. within the town. It, it's needed, and this gets us much closer to our, our ten percent. I mean, if all of those apartments count, that's a huge piece of it. Yeah. Um, well, and, and that's the question, right? So does it still count for our affordable housing inventory stock yeah, 40 under 40R? Or is yes. it? Oh, yeah. So yes. it's, it's all so it's so, an overlay. But it, but it counts um, It counts under standard SHI. So you get 100% of the... Um, rentals. of the rentals and you but you only get 25% of those okay so yes yeah, so the 84 units just because you have a rental yep. component doesn't mean you get 100% of the whole thing yeah okay. yeah so you get probably what you get 64 and then you, you get, get like 25% of 80 which I can't do that. yeah but I think that adds up to 80 like 24. 20 Yes, yeah, so you get 84 more than um, yeah, you gave him that 72 times already. Lindsay's been, <laughs> been saying 84 all day. Yeah. <laughs> well, I should have known better. Can I ask Amy a question? Yeah, sure. On the density and bonuses and the zoning incentive, I believe that money's in the budget, like in a trust. Mm -hmm. What doesn't get appropriated is the 40S, right. right? I think we're pretty guaranteed on the zoning incentive and the density. It is in a trust, however, it does get, it gets put into the trust every year, I think, okay. by the legislature. The 40S, you are correct. Yeah. And the 40S is at the whim of the legislature. Right. That goes, that's in the budget every year. Right. Uh, I'm not so concerned that it counts as a 40B against affordable housing. I was only interested in the component of the zoning incentive of mm -hmm. $200,000 mm -hmm. and the density bonus that I was heading down the path of about 110, but my my density bonus now becomes 140 units. I'm 134. trying to 134. One 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 thirty four at three thousand dollars. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of money. Is the is the density 
almost part of that. Is that correct? Where's the 134 coming from? I think. Well, right, I, I, 144. I, uh, 144, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's 84 plus yeah. 60. Yeah, 140. 144. Right. Too many numbers. Right. So, yeah, so 144 times 3 is how much? Tell you what 432,000. Yes, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got the 432 <laughs> plus Now I called you up and I gave you 422. 422. See? Yeah, so 432. <laughs> Or 22. That's why I've been pushing this because it's like a lot of money for so the town. Yeah, six hundred thirty-two thousand dollars. Yeah. Is what that would be. Yeah. The potential of. Yeah. But so what? It's a great thing. I think so that this is absolutely. this is um, assuming that there will be a development very similar to this if it goes ahead as 40B. There's no potential upside from state a state funding perspective. Right. For that, so I think we're obviously all on board with supporting this. So, again, I guess the next question is, what do we submit? And, and if you have information, let's take a look at it. And maybe we can have that conversation. I think Mike and so Jamie I have much a have the list done. of uh, decisions that need to be um, made by the board um, on on the application. As you know, we met with THCD. And, um, and he um, <coughs> had um, suggested that we go through the current zoning, the current overlay, and um, decide if we wanted to do a, a sub-district of what we have. And um, one of the things that we were kind of uh, grappling with was that we didn't have a project up until now. Um, and so we didn't know if we needed a sub-district or if we could just take the zoning that we have and just use that. Um, but now that we have a project, we know that we need to do a different district because we have, a different, we have different density. We now have mixed use, which our previous um, overlay does not have mixed use. So um, we need to do a whole new district. So it would be um, one, of the, one of the questions was, remember we had talked about doing Subdistrict A and Subdistrict B, we talked about the MBTA property. Um, is that still an option? Yeah, so we've had some sub subsequent discussions on that topic, and we're not looking to do anything with the hospital site okay. or the MBTA site. Great. So we're just focusing on these parcels, um, not just because that, you know, there were lengthy discussions relative to both of those and why mm -hmm. we don't want to pursue that. So. So that makes just, it easier. Yeah, we're just focusing okay. on this. So we will do we'll do one application with um, and we'll come we'll come up with one set of zoning, one set one overlay district for that regulate for that um, for that area. Um, this is not something that we have to come up with tonight, but we we would have to have a name of the district. We because we are making a different district. Right now it's the residences at Lakeville Station Smart Growth Overlay District. So We'd have to Do think about that. You guys name yours? They got the Namaska River, River Landing and residences at Nebraska. So if you can just do Namaska something, yeah. uh, just, we'll just that word or whatever, overlay. just come up with yeah. something. Namaska overlay. Yeah. yeah. Great. And, um, and so Could essentially, we are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just moving through the application this is because we're doing this overlay because it's near a transit station um, the size of the proposed district we have um, thankfully we have a we now have a project in front of us so now we can use these plans mm -hmm. and we have the size of the district we have the percent of the municipality we have the assessors records as to what exactly what assessors um, lots we're using so we can come up with all of that um, the total the units that um, the future units are going to be 144 units, as we just went over. Um, we have um, the developable land and the percent of the district, all of that stuff. Um, so we go to the densities, and um, we have um, for um, one family smart growth zoning, we have um, eight units. For two to three family, we have 12, and for multifamily, we have 20, and we want to change that to 25. Yeah, yes, we want to change it to 25 because um, we need that to make the apartment building work. Well, actually, if they look at the whole, yeah, we need it to make the apartment building work, yeah. And, and that is permissible, I'm, and, and I've seen it before. 
So, um, and then um, there's a breakdown. We go through a breakdown of um, of what the units are, and that that will come from the plans again. Um, and so. Um, One of the other questions was, um, the, the other thing was um, allowing mi uh, mixed-use development. Are you, is the Board of Selectmen okay with allowing mixed-use development in this overlay district? I am. Yeah, I, I think, think so. mixed-use is a good idea. Yeah. I think it supports, I mean, th the theory is obviously it supports whatever's in that neighborhood. Yeah. You're not going to well, put in. Well, I think, I think it would parallel the, um, the business uses that I think is what you have it qualified as now under yeah I think it'd be similar to that except it'd be allowed right. I mean this is an overlay so the existing zoning is, is yeah. there as well so that doesn't detract from or I should say um, lessen the, the intent of the existing <coughs> zoning just quickly where does the mixed use end up going in in duplexes I mean where no, no, where is no, it going no. the, the mixed use would go okay, which, somewhere in this building. okay yeah. okay because I'll, I'll come back to that section in a while. yeah like on the yeah. first floor maybe or something okay. on the okay it's gonna be like kind of a walkout half of it so maybe okay. in the back half of the yeah. walkout okay so it assuming you were referring to home uses I mean I we would assume that would allow it to be continued we're not trying to knock that out by, by any right. stretch of the imagination right. if you let me go through questions and then I just have the questions. I was kind of dealing with 110 and then I just got lost in the latest plan. Um, so the other thing is, um, do we want the, um, the zoning, do we want to require design standards? And currently the, um, the current 4DR overlay district does not, the zoning, the zoning does not require design standards. Um, it's it's a decision that that it's up to the town whether you want to require design standards or not um and right now you do not so it would be up to uh, up to the board i guess i'm not i'm not the engineer in the project but if i looked at the detail of the two and three stories and the duplexes and things like that i mean they certainly look like they're well designed part of my question would be is, is there was memos about the pricing just give me the public an idea of what a duplex is going for. The uh, market value. The market the, value. Yeah. About. What do we say? Three, three, three. Uh, I'd have to look it's it up. Around three. There's two I sizes. Say, we need yeah. a smaller one. Yeah. So one's probably about one nineteen, I think, and one's about three thirty-five or something. I didn't bring all that with me. Yeah, it was in the range of two ninety to three thirty for the markets. Yeah. No, no. Not the affordables. No, the, yeah. the affordables were two two hundred ish. Right. Okay. No, so, I mean, uh, I don't like the design standards. I mean, I'm talking about if you build a good building, and it's not that when we say always built good buildings in the past, the plans seem to support substantial buildings and substantial investments based on the builder. So I don't need the design standards. Uh, you certainly, the, the answer to that might come from Nate Darling, but if he pours through the, uh, buildings with, with uh, I'll say Jamie uh, or whoever, I think he'd be satisfied with that. That's the way I kind of approached it was, is is it a substantial building? Uh, are they priced right? Do they look nice? And the certainly they do. Be about 280. Right. So most of the people buying one of those, their mortgage will be cheap, especially with the first time buyer incentives that Bridgewater's working out in the spring, then what? They're renting them far over in the apartments in the same place. People be able to buy cheaper than they can rent. Right. Okay. And then my, just a, another point, the ones I built on Bridge Street, those duplexes that I did for 199, they're up to 280,000. The right. last couple that sold. So right. there's a need for them, I think. I think people don't have four or five. Oh, without a doubt. Well, well no, right. no, right. right. I mean, I think, I yeah. think you, you certainly look at the price point of, yeah. of LeBaron, of the duplexes there, and. Yeah. And the more recent ones are north of four hundred thousand yeah. dollars, and you. So I get the townhouse about two eighty a duplex, high. Three thirty, three okay. forty. Yeah. Okay. And the low ones three thirty. Certainly, certainly, there's a market. The design standards you talk about, is is that the protection so that someone doesn't build a shitty building? I mean, what what's the purpose behind that? So I don't say, casually, oh that's okay. Um, it's 
de their design standards to um, design a village feel or a you know um, to require that no building be over two stories to make sure that everything you know is uh, walk walkable things like okay. that yeah, no. um, most of the time you are dealing with um, with developers that want to make a profit and want to sell so they do design buildings that are so that look nice. So in the MBTA yeah. lot and say no design standards, design standards <laughs> are, do not allow for solar canopies. Right, right. If, if, if that's the purpose behind the area, if that's, 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 that is right. mostly if that's the purpose behind that's the design what it is. standards, I'm all right not doing it. Yeah. That, okay. No, and I think that, that you guys took that into consideration when you laid this out. I mean, you want it to be exactly what it is with its relative closeness to the drain. Yeah. We want people to live here that can just walk right over there. There's also questions regarding the design standards whereas where when if you if you build the de you build the development and you restrict the color of the development or something like that, then somebody and then there's resale can the town then say to the next person, oh, you can't paint it that color? I'm not sure that can, yeah, you know, yeah. they're just standards. Yeah, I, so I don't want to enforce yeah. that. I'm not I, sure. I almost consider yeah. those private association yeah, so covenants and you exactly. don't want to go there. So, and, so in terms of, I know with the 40B, you deal with the zoning board, and I know that right. you typically have done what are known as friendly 40Bs, and, and they really enjoy working with you. I, I would say that that's safe to say. If you do a 40R, what what's the town board that has oversight similar to that? Not that they have the any. Planning board. The planning board. Okay, so you're working with the planning board versus, so they may have some suggestions yeah. for you to incorporate relative to that because they're really the group that knows that better than the board of selectmen. So in terms of that kind of stuff, I'm comfortable right. with none of that being part of this, knowing that the planning board has a pass right. at this. Right. So when we met on this about six months ago at the library. Um, and a couple of the planning board people came. Um, so luckily the zoning board and the planning board um, are okay with the town engineer, Nick Laney, because they have a few different. So as far as doing all the site review, the drainage and all that stuff, you know, so it won't be a big change, I think, from one to the other because the same drainage is gonna get down, the yep. same water lines are gonna be approved, the same building location, all that's gonna be approved no matter which way it ultimately goes, if it goes to the vote and it passes, it literally won't be changing. And yeah. Let him finish. Yeah. Well, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. well, I was just going to say, in the big building would obviously be the last one because i got to sell some for the money to build the rental. So there's yeah. plenty of time to come up with nice nice designs on that. I mean, I don't really have a full elevation of what that would look like. Um, right. But obviously that would be subject to everybody's okay on it. But again, you don't want to build something ugly and no one's going to want to live there. So. Right, right. I think the big. Oh, please. Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, no, no. Chair <laughs> recognizes Selectman Holland. Okay. <laughs> All right. I guess we're going formal tonight. Because um, I know that the one thing that they had mentioned at that meeting was a traffic study and issues. Again, you know, but it's going to be a while before that I'll, happens. I'll, I'll, no I'll, idea what's going to happen. Let, happen me, pipe, let me pipe in on that. That was developed, the, the traffic studies were done into the stratosphere. That was to be an, a business industrial yeah. park with hundreds and hundreds of commuting workers. Nine to five, so yeah. So they already have traffic lights. I get what they said. Everyone wants to, let's mitigate the traffic. Let's do this and that. That development has the traffic light well, at, at, one, at yeah. one end of the cul-de-sac. Right. And... Uh, I always get it's always something that someone wants to do a study that hasn't changed I would go back to the no. old studies which would be back in the archives I would not well they just didn't know for the gas station they included right. the commercial build out of these right, anyway right. And, and the MBTA is going to do one too yeah. But those are so far out, you'll have this built before the MBTA figures out what they're doing. Right. Yeah. And our residential, I don't even think is half of what would be allowed yeah. on yeah. the industrial level. Right, right. I, right. I don't want to... all coming in at 8 in the morning right. and leaving at 5. Residential's right. a way Right, uh, right. I'm, I'm not poo-pooing the, the idea of let's do a traffic study. I, I'm not even saying But that, that. that area was 
well vetted oh, yeah. for Great. traffic years ago. I, I was only bringing it up yeah. for the sake that that was the one comment yeah. that came out from your original right. meeting. No, no that, one, you know, well, I, I didn't, didn't, I didn't pipe stuff. in and say, listen, that, that was going to that was that was going to be a business oh, yeah. area with with businesses in there where you were having hundreds of There'll employees. The theory of taking the train wasn't yeah. that that wasn't a good no, idea. That, that that doesn't happen. No, but they we all did drive. the buy right look at it, and we have I think less than half the cars that could be built there today by buy right of and, a, a, a well, lot less, maybe forty percent right. less right. I, than what could be yeah. buy right yeah. built there. I right do now. I do think as Mitzi said that's. A main concern, and that should be addressed if Jamie is the uh, lead person on that, the comparisons of what, if you have half the number, expected half the number of cars that were going to be in there years ago, that's the traffic that you want to present, that you have, have mitigated that by building houses versus businesses. Certainly we'd rather have the businesses, but we did it. Yeah. Right, and it's been uh, oh. 50 for oh. 15 right. years. Right. right. The, I mean, you certainly get our, our general support just because you've built quality buildings before. Can, can Amy, that's a question I have is we, we approve all this. Can the builder substantially change this once it's gone through the state process? Uh, could, well, could he come back and say, well, I'm not going to do those. Uh, Patent of duplexes up closest to yes. you. Can yes. You, can yes. As long as he conforms with with the density, density. right? Density. Okay. Because he okay. he actually gets his permit from. My next question yeah. is okay. is un, under the zoning, you determine if you want it to be continue to be the planning board. Right now, it's the planning board. I would suggest you keep it at the planning yes. board level. Yes. So he yeah, would get his permit thing. from the planning board. Yeah. Okay. So it's the permit from the planning board that he has to yes. stay with. Okay. And I'll assume um, that this plan goes forward yeah. similar to this. Just he yeah. spent money on this plan. I yeah. doubt he would right. change it that right. much. Just for a question, though, I didn't even know that that was an option. I mean, the zoning board, I'm going to be starting my hearings in another month with them. Can, can the zoning board just approve it either way, or do we have to start the hearings all over again at the planning board if the town votes it? Because that would cost me a lot of time. So I'd rather just... Well, I don't know. If you I get a, a positive um, support on a 40B... Prior to a 40R approval, you have to go back and at least have them ratify their support okay. after the town meeting. Okay. So there would be a subsequent hearing at some point after the town meeting, either with the planning board or the. Well, no, I just understood that you guys could change it and just let them. You'd then have to switch, to but you'd also have to go back and change the other zone, the other overlay zoning, to the zoning board also. So you'd have to do another article also. It would be. It would be easier to leave it at the planning board. Right. Yeah. I'm not against the planning board. Yeah, I mean, I you, just you'd have to go after this gets accepted if it does back to either the zoning board or planning board anyway. Yes. Yeah. So, um, well, the I zoning think, board will be moving along. Not necessarily. I don't need to wait for the town vote for that. So that's what I'm saying. Right. I'll be, no, I'll understand. be far ahead with the zoning board. I understand that. Now, will but the planning board, Maybe I can ask them if they're interested in coming and giving input during the zoning meetings. I don't know. Well, I would, would do work. that. I would try to kill two birds with one stone with the idea that if it passes a town meeting, you just go back in for the ratification or the, the yeah. rubber stamp, and if you will. And not have to set up all the hearings all over. And they've already seen the plan. They've given you comments. They're comfortable with it. Everybody's on board because for two reasons. One, that'll speed things up if it passes a town meeting, but two, it'll also get everybody on the same page to advocate for it at town meeting. I mean, you really want to get buy-in from the zoning and planning board, yeah. so. So is there an issue with, um, like, breaking ground before 40R gets approved? I mean, what's the timeline on that? Is there like a, you know, if all of a sudden you're going through the 40B process because we're waiting for the annual town meeting to happen, and there's that time lag between it. Is there any issue or potential issue with the fact that the 40B project is moving forward? Is it like the 40R would be retroactive to the date you started the 40B? I don't know how that works. You know, like I, I, just to make sure that we don't get, you know, someone's going to say, well, you know what, it actually was a 40B. It wasn't an R. You're not getting anything. And again, if that happens, well, no harm, no foul, because we the other option is we don't get anything anyways. Well, you but get the annual money. Well, right? that's what I'm asking is if we wouldn't. Why wouldn't you? Because if, if you put an o, if you put a 40R on over after it was a B, 
Like I just don't know what comes right. first but and that if was it the can. the whole point of trying to do this sooner than later. Yeah. It's only when we get the application in then that it would apply. No. So, um, so it's it's up to the applicant. So he would have to. He can get a 40B permit. Um, he would then have to apply under 40R. Okay. So he, if he gets a 40B permit, he can. Yeah, I don't. Know. What is that? He can. It must be cobwebs <laughs> from underneath the table. <laughs> That's really creepy and weird. Yeah. Just um, he can then, if he gets tissue over there. a 40B permit, he can go ahead and build it <laughs> because a 40B can be built anywhere. Yeah. Um, but he could then also apply for a 40R, build it, and then the town could get some could get the density bonuses so does it matter if he's broken ground at all if he's broken ground then he's building it under a 40b so that's the like will we have the timeline like when do you expect to break ground so, so I think the issue for you guys is when you have your town meeting if you're gonna go forward with this if it's March April that's probably the timing we're looking at to, to hopefully wrap up with the 40 people yeah, project you can't break ground by March or April but we'll so have, no, but the we plan don't is do we have the town meeting until like June we don't ever do town meeting that early I think we had said I understand maybe that but I thought there was some discussion about maybe doing a, a special town meeting at one point to address this issue to right. take advantage of so, being able to I'll, I'll say that if there's <coughs> Well, we'll get into the timeline of breaking ground, how you're going to phase it. And this isn't to hold you to it, just so we can understand, is it the cluster at one end that you're trying to break ground for, uh, you know, a dozen duplexes, that kind of thing. Because if, if in fact, there was $632,000 on the table, I would support an early town meeting. Once he receives... But, but I don't support early town meetings for any other... Right. Crazy reasons, yeah, but what, if there's money on the table, I, I, I really want to go watch that. I, I would. <laughs> once he once he receives his 40B permit, his yeah. comprehensive permit yeah. from the Zoning Board of Appeals, yeah. the two hundred thousand dollars is off the table. Yeah. Right. So, so that that's what we're that's the timeline that we're kind of up against right now, yeah. which is why we want to get the application, the 40R application in, yeah. um, because he already filed. However, the zoning board has 180 days from when he filed, and he he has filed with Mass Housing. Mass, so he hasn't really filed with the zoning board of appeals yet. He filed with Mass Housing. Mass, he doesn't have a project eligibility letter yet, so he has to get a project eligibility letter from Mass Housing. Once he gets his PEL, he then files with the zoning board of appeals, and then it's 180 days. So that's six months. So. Right. That's June. Yeah. His time be is down on us. We we can figure that out. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But, so, but to 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 Mitzi's point, everyone's point. What's your idea of breaking ground? And you can't dig it all at once. I wouldn't think. But no. Where do you want to phase? What's your first phase? Cutting trees and start and site stuff would actually trigger anything because nobody no. knows. No. 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 Would actually would. I, 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 I think it gets into so like foundation ahead, permits once, and once stuff. Once they know the 40B is approved, I can right. start cutting trees and getting right. going on. My bank will know that one way or another it's going to keep moving. Um, and then I guess if we had to, what we're going to try to do is, that's the last, whether I do yeah. the townhouses okay. or that building. Um, we probably want to we want to start doing like a building of townhouses. Yeah. And um, if you've driven down there, all the, there's tons of dirt piles here that I need. So I'm probably going to start with some over here, so they're not competing the townhouses and the duplexes. Okay. Yep. So I mean, if, the two if we had to some way take off 20 <coughs> out of the application, <coughs> right? I don't know if he can do that, but I mean, if, if mean we wanted to take 20 off and leave them as a 40, right, so the rough count is a 40 hour or something. One, two, three, I don't know how you can do so that. Six, what's seven, eight, nine. It's nine duplexes on one end, and the other end is the uh, the 26. So can we 26 units? Back into that timeline again so that we need to if we have because I mean we just had the other request last night also for an earlier town meeting right um, right but <coughs> I mean if we're really running into that timeline we are talking about the you know four hundred and thirty two thousand dollars being the difference between getting it done before you know June and having a town meeting before June 
or not getting it at all. Right. Uh, and that's right. I would support an early town meeting once this all this paperwork so gets settled out. We can call a town yeah, meeting so very quickly. Right. So what's the what's the timeline to get the paperwork ready and all the hearings that would be required for the 40R to go to town meeting? That's why we have Amy at the end of the table. Here. Yeah. So the first thing that we need to do after tonight is schedule a meeting probably in two weeks and that would be your um, that's the preliminary municipal review meeting that's your that's the board of selectmen's public meeting on the application okay. so the application will be done and we will the board of selectmen present it and we take comment and that meeting is um, pu it's published it's in you know it's noticed um, two weeks so we need two weeks at least um, so it's um, it's a notice given in a newspaper of general circulation municipality for each of two consecutive weeks. So we schedule a meeting um, for the middle of January. So the application will be um, will be done by then. There are a few um, there are a few things in the application that um, we have to we still the application is not done. Um, the application has. 10 to 12 um, attachments that we need to um, we need to kind of work on. Um, one of them is the housing production plan that we're trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. I hope we have that. Yep. The and final um, draft yep. in January. Yeah. So we should have that final draft from master plan in January. So that's what okay. we're kind of we're kind of up against it's somebody else's timeline, which is kind of holding us back. So we're hoping that that comes in um, because we need that. Um, and then um, there was one other thing that we were, um, something else on my list that we were waiting on. Oh, the affordable housing. The affordable housing plan. Um, we have the trust. We, there's only a trust, not a, the affordable housing trust. There's money in a trust, right. but yep. there's not a board of directors. We, we don't have yeah. a board of, yes. Yeah. So Do we, we have need to, that? We're going to figure that out. That's one of the other things Paperwork that we're going to... is pretty much done. We're yeah. hoping a page, but it never followed yeah. through. There's only 29000 okay. in the trust. Great. Right. Not right. enough From to the build. Sale of the market. And it wasn't a problem right. last time, so we don't think it's going to be yeah. a problem this time. Okay. So, so it's it's just something It's one of the goals working. in this yeah. updated plan. Right, but we, we didn't have that to, in place for the, I'll call it the mm -hmm. Sterling and Kensington court right. either. Right, right. Exactly. So okay. we're, we're thinking that that's... Okay. So... Um, so, so these are just things that we'll, we're going to work on. Um, the other thing is, none of your, none of this plan is going to have any um, open space restriction. There's not going to be any CR or anything on on any of this, correct? No. You're not going to be required to do that. Okay, good. So we don't have to worry about getting a CR in place or anything like that. So that's good. So, um, so we'll do that. We'll, uh, we will then, um, once you have your meeting, your, pre you know, preliminary meeting, we can then submit it. Um, the zoning has to be, um, it's just like a, it's a 40A Section 5 zoning that goes before town meeting. So we will need, um, the planning board has to have a public hearing on it. It's a zoning, it's an overlay district that will be in the zoning bylaw. Um, so they will have to have it noticed. It has to be 45 days before um, public, before the town meeting. The hearing has to be advertised 45 days before the hearing, uh, before the meeting, town meeting, I'm sorry. And, um, and so, and we also would need two thirds vote at town meeting to um, to accept the overlay district. So, um, what we would need, what what would have to be ready for the planning board's um, meeting would be the actual would be the article, the actual zoning district. Which, um, from the decisions that were made tonight, um, we would use the. Um, we would use the residences at Lakeville Smart Station, uh, Station Smart Growth Overlay District. We would just use that section of the zoning bylaw, and we would just make a few minor changes, and we would just, and that would be presented as the overlay. So we'll probably look at the end of April. March or April if I'm on track. Yeah. If I was following. Yeah, it looks like April. Um, could be fine. So, so from our point, Rita. Yeah. I want to make sure that you've appointed an individual who's going to track this timeline of what Amy's requesting so we don't miss meetings at planning board, zoning board, well, I was just gonna approval and stuff like that. One person. That I, what I was you don't have to come up with that name yeah. now, but it needs to be one person because of the money that's involved. 
I want to make sure that, oh, I don't remember what Amy said. Oh, I don't remember what the timeline <coughs> said. I want to make sure someone's tracking that. Yes. And I was just going to go back to the original 40-hour application the selectmen met with the planning board, going back to the design standards. So you know if the planning board didn't want design standards, <laughs> Um, right. I don't think they're going to want it on this. The, the development we have, right. you know, yeah. they think it's a nice looking development. But there were the joint meetings with the planning board and ZBA, you know, the selling of the fact of 632,000? 632,000. Okay. So. Of which, uh, I, you know, of which maybe the 200,000s in, in jeopardy, but we but get that. I think the zoning bylaw part of that article is real important. Mm -hmm. and. And I have to say, the planning board met regularly. It, I, I think well, Jonathan White will attest right, to right. No, they didn't I'll, hold the right. project so up. They worked no, no, very I, well. I, I get that. I'm not insinuating that yeah. anyone would hold it up. I want to make sure we don't miss any timelines. It, exactly. Because yeah. you want to know when the planning board right. is meeting, when they're going to be able to put it on their agenda, when exactly. they're going to be able to talk about it, the when you're meeting with them, newspaper. when we have to get the newspaper right. in. So I want days, someone tracking that. Like, yeah, put the timeline together so we work yes. backwards. I and want then everybody tracking that. Well, right. yeah, but one, 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 one so well, you well, I want one individual it's that's... You hand around one neck, and <laughs> well, it is a bunch. Well, so, no, they're, they're so, updating. The, that person's responsible for updating. But, but all on the your end, then... Makes sense, though, that we should be meeting, <clears throat> if the zoning board and planning board would meet together so we can get all their input at once, instead of having one and then have one two weeks later, then they want something different, they get it back two weeks later, and then... I'd seen if we can get them together, like we just said. At one time, they all met together. On the zoning, on the yeah, zoning bylaw, on the on the on the, on the overlay for district. The and stuff. Yeah, for your, the for district. your for the project. Yeah, for the project. Um. Just have a joint meeting and get everyone's input all at once. Because you know, I wouldn't want to go to zoning board. I, 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 this I is all pre-project. Yeah, this is all pre-project. That's up to those boards. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I think I see your point. It's easier yeah. to do it all, but they may want to. They may want to meet separately. Who knows? I mean, those they, those are like. I mean, I mean, I can ask, but you know, what I mean, though, you go to the zoning board. They say, well, we want you to change this, and that's you're the planning board. They liked it the way you had it the first time. You right. have a meeting a couple weeks later. Well, with the I know, board. but you only you, right. But see, that's the that's the thing when you're going on two parallel tracks. One yeah. board has authority in one mm, direction. It could be and a different one has projects. Authority in the other way. Honestly. Like I Indian. think you want to go to them initially to get buy-in on the project, but ideally, if if we can get this off the ground in the spring you only have to deal with one of them for the finality of, of a decision or or to get buy-in you know yeah. I, mean, so I think an initial meeting with both or each of them to share the idea and get buy-in is a great way to do it yeah. but I don't know how much further along you'd go but again that's a de decision for you guys based on your timeline um, uh, right now, until until the overlay district is approved by town meeting, you can only apply <coughs> to the zoning board of appeals because, and and you still need a PEL. So, <coughs> so right now there's nothing. But once you get your PEL, you can only apply to the ZBA. So your best bet would be to invite the planning board. Invite right, just to invite them. Yeah. To come and yeah. give any comments exactly. they might want to give. Yeah. To to and then once the once the overlay is accepted. Um, then you would be that far, that much further ahead. They would have already seen the project yeah. and they would have sat through those kind of things. And, and then any any consultant reviews that the zoning board, um, you know, has required, if they've required, you could yeah. submit to the planning board. Okay. You know, you wouldn't, I don't think you'd be losing a lot. Yeah, no, I think um, that'll work. Yeah. So one of the things is that once, once we, um, once we set, a timeline. Um, if we if we get a time if we get this timeline down, um, I will contact DHCD right away and find out if that timeline will work for them. Make sure that they'll they can work within that timeline and they can get the, our our application, you know, approved in that yep. during okay, that so timeline. So because we we, we are working with them also. Um, right. Okay. You know, yeah. I I thought our meeting with them was very positive. I right. thought that they thought right. that oh, it was know, not. I think they're excited. Yeah to work with yeah. us and I think right. that 
hopefully I mean, that'll work. Since we're since we're expanding a current right, overlay, I don't think it's right. an it issue. It solves the whole concept yeah. of, of a train station with this yes. type of, uh, yeah. of building. But I don't yeah, but I don't want them to for some reason hold us up. So I, I would check. Right. I just want to check right. with them. Yep. Yeah. And I've been in contact with them quite a bit already, so they do know it's coming. It, is the fellow we were met with, uh, Bill yep. Rylett? Yes. Is, is he the number one guy, kind of? Yes, Bill yep. Rayalt. And right. then um, yep. Elaine will work with Elaine with yes. the zoning. Yes. So okay. Elaine does the um, the overlay. And She'll do the overlay right. for and the they, zoning. They're both on the ball. They're yes. both supportive of, of the idea and the project. Yep. General. Yes. So the planning board's meeting January 4th. Why doesn't you want the Board of Selectmen to get on their agenda to do the initial discussion about get this rolling? I have to, do I personally have to go to a planning board meeting? <laughs> I don't know. Do you? Do, you, do we want to go and advocate I mean, will, for this? Will we? Will we so have this application ready to go? Is that what? Or do we're just talking not. about it, I and then we the have our meeting two weeks later where we actually have that. You know, because we have right. to do the two-week advertisement. So, if we go to planning on January fourth, that's not the same as right. us having that right. two-week public meeting. thing. Have to have a, your, so your it's just has a, to be a yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's just an initial discussion the with board. the planning board if we attend that meeting, and then when we have our meeting, when we can have it. Uh, two weeks later, because well, I mean, that doesn't really that matter one, that time period. Oh, or actually, that's when we can then project. submit it I mean, to I, DHC. I usually go so that's why we need to have that. Support of when the yeah. people go in front of the yeah. zoning board, but so, I'm yeah. I'm happy to go as a supporter of the project. Uh, well, it's but, I mean to talk but, oh, about I, the zoning oh, I don't article. Think, uh, but I don't think well, we've mm -hmm. met the timelines of the publications and things. Well, to oh no, that's not going to be one of the publications. This is the initial meeting that we're going to. Like that, uh, I have another district months ago. Um, because I mean, so that if we I can get planning board, board started on their public said, hearings, no, we don't like this at all. Why waste a bunch of time? So if they say we're never going to support this, so we might as well just they won't say that though. They, I know they, they won't, but I'm saying but that's why I, I can go like I do with zoning. I think I'm actually required to go to a preliminary meeting and explain and give them a little outline. You are. And, yeah, right. yeah, so I can do that. If they'll let me go on the meeting, I can but, go do that. But you need the zoning article first to refer yeah, right. to the planning board, right? Isn't that the procedure? Right. So you, okay. the selectman would recommend the article for the planning board's review since it's a bylaw change? The plan, the, the <coughs> board of selectmen have to put it on the warrant. Yes, right. so they have but to get it, they yeah, have they have to, to send it to the planning board, right. yes. So I think it starts with you guys, whatever. Yes. Sure, but I mean, I think it's too early. The fourth, I think, is too early. But I, I don't think that it's a bad idea if you want to go or, or talk to them and say, can I get on your agenda and have 10 minutes to talk about this project I want to do? Yeah. It's going to require a zoning change, and I'm trying to do it under a 40B, but if the 40R works, you guys would, I would work with you guys to, yeah. to facilitate this. They would love i mean i think that's your point is they right. they want to have advance notice of it it gets yeah. them thinking yeah. about it, it gets them excited about it and so yeah. why don't we aim to have our approval meeting unless we want to try to do an earlier one on the 17th it's wednesday the 17th is when we're meeting next because we're meeting on the third but that doesn't give no, us the appropriate to, time you have to notice two um, weeks you said right yeah in so the each 17th. of two two successive weeks the last being at least three days prior to the hearing I'll send you this. Yeah, so we have to do it. I'm we could do it on the 17th. Yeah. It's probably the earliest so, day that we could do it. So here's what I have. The um, you're gonna if you have your meeting on the 17th. Yep. Applications are accepted at DH, DHCD on the last day of the month. So we would we would file our application on January 30th. They have 30 days to do their preliminary um, completeness review. So that would bring us to February 28th, and then they have to issue a decision. And there well. The regulations say they have to issue a decision in 60 days. So we would have a decision by April 30th. So while they're doing all of that, we would go to, we would work on the plan, we would do the planning board and we would have the bylaw. We would have the bylaw, bylaw and everything and then we could go to town meeting in beginning of May or May or June or, or however you wanted to do that. Didn't we talk about the potential of having our actual annual town meeting like first week of May? We, we uh, tend to know I'm never against that. I would have a meeting whenever we have to have a meeting regarding this. Right. I mean, our budget no, doesn't yeah. change. Nothing changes. Right. No, I understand. Right. It's like we can do just a zoning, have a meeting for zoning, and that's what it would be if this is the timeline. And then 
you know, and maybe we have it back from DHCD earlier, but we won't know. And, and we might, because yeah. this is just an expansion of a 40R. Right. And, and we... But we have no way of knowing that so that we have enough time to do... Right. We don't know. Yeah, we have to just do it and see. Did I do some? No. Right. And that, that's I'm really right. the none earliest... Of, none of us object to us on an early town meeting. And so April 30th... Except for you. What are we... Are we running against... I don't know. We'll make January 17th. Well, deadline right. of the 40B mm -hmm. moving forward. Well, again, they... They haven't submitted their application yet because they don't have a project eligibility letter yet. Okay. So we don't we, know when that's coming? No, because we have 30 days to... Well, he on the 10th, the site does it's on the 10th. Yeah, he filed this on December 18th. So we have until Janu January... What would that be? January 17th would be 30 days. We have until January 17th to submit comments to DHCD. So then they would issue a PEL. They're they're very quick. So they would issue it right after that. Yeah, they so, sent us 60 days. Is what they're shooting for now. Oh, it would be quicker than that. I bet. I bet you'll get a PEL. I had one that took two and a half years. So <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna say you'd have so one by the end of January. So we don't need an early town meeting. I guess. Uh, I I would say you'd have a PEL by the end of January, and then they file with Zoning Board of Appeals, and the ZBA has 180 days to issue. A, a permit, a comprehensive permit. So if we permit. work with ZBA and we know that this is all moving forward, as long as ZBA doesn't issue the comprehensive permit before we get town meeting approval, then mm -hmm. we're fine, right? That's really like the the two things that are right. That and provided you're okay with that, I mean, we can work with you too. If you get to a point where you're like, you guys had your opportunity, you didn't get it together, I need to get this done. Then yeah, well, if, we, have, we have that conversation. If the ZBA doesn't issue in 180 days, he has he has a constructive approval. No, I mean so my point is, is that the zoning board is probably going to issue in two months. So, right, but if but if, if we work if with we, them to tell them, if we say to them, hey, you know, we're expecting this to yeah. to be resolved within the next whatever time frame, and you're okay with it, yeah, I'm sure that they can. They have up to 180 days, so they can just they can just delay the 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 release of the of the permit. Yeah, like I could ask them, say, look, at it. I'd like you guys to give me an answer no, no, we in the 60 days, right. but don't write it. Right, don't issue, issue, don't issue the permit until, until you're comfortable well, we with that it, to come and, and that gives us a little bit yeah. of wiggle room there. Okay. You know, but again, assuming you're okay with it, it's not to say that we would ever do that without your consent or the zoning board would, yeah, but if, yeah. if we have a meeting of the minds and, we, and everybody agrees, you know, with, yeah. with your timeline, then we have that ability to not have them issue the, or ask them not to issue the permit. Correct? I mean, that's... Maybe they don't have a quorum one, one month. Who knows? I mean, well, then they can just move to, to, so what, to table well, it. You, you exactly could ask us month. to continue a hearing or yes, something just, like they, that. Yes, just there's, continue there's, hearings. There's, yeah. Right. We could, yeah. I don't... Yeah, that's yeah, not... So we would yeah. we'd work, we'd work yeah, with we'd you work folks and that's on board. Once yeah. I know that they... As long as everyone's on board. I don't care if they if they issue the permit that month, as long as I know, okay, if this other thing doesn't work out, I can keep going. Right. I mean, you it's going to take me a month to cut trees and stop moving yep. dirt. I mean, I get a couple of months there that I can, but I need to know for sure the zoning board's going to be good, and they're just waiting for us to give them the okay to issue it. What's the timeline if we go through and we have town meeting on April 30th, it approves 40R, then the Attorney General. what happens with like, how does that delay, if anything, your project? Like, what, what does it mean for your, like, do you have to apply then? Mm -hmm. I mean, you've already gone through. Yeah. So then he would have to apply to the planning board for 40R. And what does that take in terms of, like, public hearings and all that stuff? Well, there, would, be, there would have to be a public hearing. It would, it would be, um, it's in the zoning bylaw, the overlay district, so there's, yep. a, there's a public hearing. He has to, he has to file an application mm -hmm. with them, and, and they, you know, they solicit, in, you know, in, um, they solicit, you know, comments from other boards, but and then there would be a hearing, and hopefully, by that point, they would be familiar with the project because he has invited them to the ZBA. Is there a way to do public hearings pending a zoning change? No, to because he can't file the application under 40R until the 40R is okay. accepted. So, gotcha. so if they were to come and be in formal capacity as members of the exactly. public, just to, to listen okay. to what's being presented. So you'd have another kind of. Delay. I'm just trying to think from a timeline perspective. You know, does it's it? It's like a two week thing. Is it two it weeks? Would be, okay, it would that's be maybe a month. I mean, if, okay. yeah. in ca if Casey had questions, he had, he would have to come back two weeks later with the answers. Yeah. 
Um, and again, if they had any questions or concerns, he would, you know, that, that needed consultants or anything like that, he would most likely have all that from the zoning board that he could, he would submit so with his application. Say, right. yeah. So he would be submitting a much more complete application to the planning board because he had already been through right. it. Okay. So there shouldn't be a lot of concerns. Right. Yeah. So the planning board should be feeding the zoning board. Their yeah, they would, anyway, everything would so be it should all, I mean, out. should all be there. Yeah. So, I mean, talking about but, this and with the timelines and everything, I mean, it seems like we really should push for an earlier special on this, I think, you know, because of this well, timeline and what it's going right, to look I, like. I, I, I somewhat agree, but a lot has been talked about, but putting the timelines down on on a piece of paper so yeah. that we can map them out, okay. grid them out. So maybe we can have yes. that by January 3rd. Yes. So that when we have that meeting, because the plan anyways, I think if we go ahead and make sure we get the notice in for this, our application for the 17th, and we do what we need to do and file with the newspapers, which would be next week, that we have to get it right. in. On the if we get it in next week, it would run the January 4th, January 11th. How many days before? It has uh, not less than three. So okay. that would be fine. If and weekends count, because Martin Luther King Day is a holiday. So I'd have that Friday. The last publication being at least three days prior to the hearing. Say business days. No, just mm -hmm. three days. Okay. Um, I was going to say, don't use the well, gazette. And, and then I'm just sitting here thinking too, as a time that line. local publication, though. But what about the attorney general? Does that add another month onto the April 30th town meeting, or no? This is a zoning. <clears throat> right. This is a zoning bylaw. So technically, this zoning bylaw kicks in the day that it's published. The day that the planning board. Publicize, public, public, uh, the day of the planning board publication of their meeting, and that's because of the grandfathering. So this, that that that's a that's an extremely hard question to answer because, from a grandfathering context, um, when the planning board notice of the planning board's public meeting is the day that the zoning is grandfathered. So, if that passes, then people are grandfathered up to that date. But this is a different thing because we're not asking for grandfathering, we're asking for you know, grand, something the opposite of grandfathering. So um, no, I think it's town it's when town meeting okay. votes is when is when it would be. Um, we need to um, we need to make sure that the planning board holds um, does the yeah. right publication and holds the meeting. Yeah. So we're, we'll we're, we'll just we're all trained in that yeah. now. We'll just make sure, but, yeah. um, but and then gonna, we'll also make sure. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go ahead. And uh, we'll just we'll just be certain that there it, that it's a two thirds vote, mm -hmm. and then there's really nothing that, that the there's nothing that would that would nullify the vote, and okay. that, if that's the case. So the question's going to be for again, I don't even know what day of the week April 30th is, but um, it's a it's a, it's a Monday. Monday. Go ahead. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> that actually April works. Fool's Day. April 30th. Yeah. Um, so. With regard to that meeting, I think then we should maybe talk about also maybe on the third um, what we want to potentially see on there because here's going to be the other thing too is the the cannabis rules and regs are supposed to be out April first, right? They are, and that's a zoning issue that we know we might be dealing with. Right. So, with regard to any zoning changes we might want to make with regard to those rules and regs once they come out that actually gives us a good timeline because a lot of people were saying it was going to be an issue for their timing because their town meetings are going to be a little bit later yeah. but it so happens that we're going to actually have a special that's going to right. be right there so we have it's going to be a complete zoning town meeting but you wouldn't be able to advertise do we 45 days ahead of time because they're not going to be out until the first we need 45 days uh -huh. Yes, because it's zoning. Right, right. we zoning. just talked about that. Okay, well, whatever. That one, at unless, least, then we can get unless, it ready we for the. Could propose the change unless and they just do draft. Unless they ha they might do draft regs or so something. So that we right. could create yeah. some draft and yeah. and see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we as could long just as table it if it changes. Exactly. And, and hit it at a different okay. time. Exactly. So I'd like to make sure that we but hit that. We also if, have a handful of zoning changes that the ZBRAC is thing. working on. So we're we're trying to change the Upland Circle. We're trying to change restaurants and and fast food restaurants, car washes, we're trying to 
clean up our zoning. There's probably four so, or five yeah. things that so we're hitting with that. We'll probably so. end up with ten articles, you know, and it'll be a zoning right. meeting that we have. So it's not just related to, but it is related to zoning. And then if we want to do it for that. But the good thing with having more Harding stuff Street. is that the likelihood of getting a quorum is exactly. better. And then our annual town meeting can just be about the budget. Yeah. You know, yes, can I just be two depending on the date? If the dates start really dragging, right, they're two separate projects technically. We could probably approve that 20 something as a 40B to start and then wait. You'd lose 26 units or something, but yeah. you still have over 100 that you get the money for. Right. And that might be another option. And once this all gets on paper and we think of all the little things, right. if it starts getting too far out, maybe that's an option that I could look at too. We could work together on that and say, all right, we'll yep. let the zoning board go forward, let them vote, let them approve that one and send out the letter. Yep. And then they, they can't take all the rest of the project, the other 100 units away from us for the money and it could still get something started. That might be an option. Have you gone to um, conservation? No, but we're going um, so this we, month. And you can start that? Yeah. That has nothing. Okay, good. Yeah, so we're you can going start to conservation. That. Yeah. we got to adjust some of the water where I got voted for different lots, numbers changed on them. Right. That seems to be okay. Just, if you can just spend two minutes how I went from 84 units and 26 units, which was 110, how did I add 34 units to it? Just the apartments. But the apartments are 84. 64. 64. 64. 64. So you're going to lose 30. One of the, oh. the, the other plan shows oh, I, I, 30. Okay. I didn't have the other plan in front of me. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. the other plan There's shows 30. Look at it. Okay. So we'll take off 30 and we'll add 64. So we're okay. going to increase it by 34. Okay. See, it's still, okay. even if, it's, it's even that if these that, came on, that right. not it'd still be okay. over 100 that would be able and, to And that's your last yeah. phase? Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. And that's the last yeah, anyway. I get it. Yep. I guess for the I guess sometimes the public says, why are we supporting a certain group? I want to always say, one, I like the idea, but I'm after the money from the state. And that's why um, I'm very supportive of a fast timeline. Someone will say, why the hell are you supporting this project? You know, might be given special treatment to the bill. Well, special treatment to get $632,000 from the state is a potential I want to do any day of the week. John, it's that's the, what the special to get the money. The 40B isn't anything special. Right. right. You right. do no, it anyway. So it's a huge benefit. This is us taking yeah. it. This is actually yeah. you being Generous. gracious <laughs> enough to work with us to, to allow to, this to, to try to, to happen. Do it. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, right. But it is so. a speedy timeline, and we were yeah. want, yep. want other people to. And just be to, part if I can say, because baseball. Um, <laughs> there's over 200 units on five lots over at Kensington that have a Section 8. And I'm not a Section 8 snob, but I'm just saying that because there's a lot of talk out there. These are a little over 100, 140B, 130, 40R, and eight lots. And they'll be, they're all for sale. There's no Section 8. So the people that are watching and concerned, you know, I haven't built any in the town ever. You know, again, I'm not against it, but I just have no reason to build any. And that's all for sale. So, you know, if you look at the density, the ownership, you know, just like Woods Edge. It's been there 15 years, 36 houses, 55 and older, half counted for the town. The town made a million dollars off that in taxes over the years and hasn't spent a penny. I do care about this town, anybody watching. And I wouldn't have built the other project. Not that I, good luck to who did, but I didn't build the other project that people would think I did. So. And to John's point, that Board of Selectmen at the time went to town meeting because it was nine hundred and twelve thousand yeah. dollars. Right. That's, yeah. right, right. The project's so going to be built say, anyways. My, my support's as a coming from the dollars yeah. and cents, yeah. and and I believe the quality of the buildings that we're doing and the in the price, I call it the price point, yeah, it's the is, is where I think I I like yeah. it. Agreed. That it Definitely that it's, market need there. Right. All right. So. All right. So. Uh, Amy, did, do you get all of your questions answered? Yes, and it, it's it's also I was just doing some math. It's it's also going to um, bring you up on the SHI to about to about um, eight point eight, it's almost to nine, yep. which is which is significant. So, um, so that's a pretty big bump. Nine without addressing the other parcel with the with the apartments. 
Uh, no, that's that's with the for, with this project with the 84 affordable units that will count. Okay. 84. Okay. Okay. Right now, right. it's my right. belief that um, 84 units will count for SHI out of the 144. Right. So with those 84, adding those to the current um, housing stock and from the from right. the SHI that I have, which is from um, it's from uh, June of 2017. So it's pretty pretty recent. Right. So. Okay. I think we're up to 7.1 since right, and then you have 7.1. And then this okay. will bring us up to 8.8. .8. Yeah. So, wow. and again, my math is not good, but I used a calculator, so. <laughs> right, right. And, I, and I, I'm not one of the selectmen, not that we are in, in towns that are saying, oh my God, 10%, we, we reach a magical number. The 40 Bs, for the most part that we've done, have been uh, very nicely done. Mm -hmm. And that's and, good. And the price point's pretty high. That's good. Um, you have answered. Um, you have answered my questions. Uh, Rita answered a, a lot of them when we met. So um, there were just those decisional questions that I yep. needed you guys to um, to answer. So I will have um, I will have a draft um, application and a draft um, section of zoning section for you um, bef way before the seventeenth. Um, and um, the only thing that I'm waiting on are some of the attachments okay. but the the application okay. itself and then I will have a conversation with um, with DHCD because um, the way that they had suggested that we um, that we fill out the application is a little confusing and I think I have a better way so I wanted to talk to them about it so. can you just send me the legal ad the wording for that January Do you guys have 17th any more questions year? or yeah, we, yeah. I'm done. Uh, we can you guys can take the plans if you want them. There's three sets there. It kind of shows what's there. Uh, there's an aerial photo in there, and it yep. should help. Great. Yeah, no, that's helpful. And yeah. you know that, yeah. that people come in and out of here all the yeah. time. We, and we can right, certainly right. keep the, the, the yeah. one set right there. Yeah, right. I yeah. just yeah. Sure. There. We had the existing aerial overlay. Yeah. And then we what we did yeah. was we did a projection of what, you know, what we're planning on doing. There's a petroglyph out there. Well, you know, he has two. <laughs> there is. We're going to make a walk. Look at that beautiful so future solar field. Isn't that beautiful? It does look nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's where you want a power plant to be, right in the uh, residential agree. neighborhood. It's awesome. With no notice. Right. It's awesome. It's, it's the uh, state hard at work. I know. Our tax dollars at work. Unilateral action with no public, uh, local public input. Right, should be. Well, thank you very much for the time tonight, uh, meeting with us and uh, looking at everything. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. I, I think that this was helpful. I think we're all on the same page, and now we have a plan that we can try to Jamie? to execute for the sake of getting the town some money. So, thank you, Bob. Thank you. So I'll get a draft over here. Fair enough. Okay. Is there something? Huh? No. I'd like to. I get food oh, I in there for us. Yeah. Yeah, we we just all have a golfing tonight. <laughs> I may have to bring you the golf course. Okay. Do we That's have fine. anything else? We because these things just so Are there three sets of those? There are three sets. I guess as old as that is. Once we get this timeline, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I don't care how you guys are. I only need, need to, you know, I actually do both of them. You're on the plan. You know, because it's like, hey, guess what? We actually are. Yeah. to move this right, forward so based upon our zoning and our so, uh, and really our mayor. Really, so zoning. like by mid January yes. we'll know have a better understanding of the timeline. Yep. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. And, and, and to Mitzi's point was to reach out to Bountiful Bountiful Farms and let them know that we'll anticipate earlier this year. And then we'll you know uh, this is this one? Oh, this is Mitzi Caleb. For the yeah. But Paul, Paul was in today again yeah, with. Uh, let them, if you don't mind calling Paul, and just let him yeah. know that we have a Lorraine, you, you can yeah. call Paul and say we're contemplating. Um, a June 30th. April. I mean, an April, April 30th, 30th town meeting, yeah. because they are going to need to get have the hearings and get yeah, right. everything so they get their for stuff that going. too. So yep. um, that'll give them a little ray of hope. Yeah, and I told Paul to reach out. He was looking for history on the uh, Nanfelt Mink Farm, and I said Jerry White grew up on that street. So uh, he, he, he's was, he was right. It's the the Hoss Farm, oh, no. Hoss Mink Farm. Mink Farm. 
Lots. No. And it's yeah, the neighbors lots. that shut it down. They built houses <laughs> next to the. the neighbors shut everything. Yeah, I remember that. No. <laughs> Class of '89, right. Kathy Fox. Anyone? I think. I think, <laughs> I think we support she it. Must have been the lady. We always. We always. Oh have yeah. To be well, her husband. Well, her husband is. Well, no, Kathy was my. Age. Oh, okay. So it was her maiden name. We, we want to make sure that we are, that we are, but that other committees, to your point, like to make their own decisions. You're right, and Absolutely. that's why. Yeah. Because all oh, the selectmen want this. Yeah. And who knows with that goes. I, don't, I, don't I just want to go by. I want to go by the time. Yes. Yeah. And I want. It is. Yeah. We're still in session. Based on the merits. Oh yeah. Of Didn't adjourn. No, yeah, we're still in the meeting. Not whether we're for it. Right. Right. We're still this on. isn't political. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What I mean? yeah. This Absolutely. is just. Right. Uh, presenting information. Yeah. Um, all right, so I'll, if there's nothing else, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thanks, everybody.